it's actually quite a funny story. At that time, I was MOS and MOE. Uh, and one day, I just received an email in invitation from a student and he invited me to the concert. I was quite uh, pleasantly surprised that our young people has that kind of gumption to just write an email and send it out to the MOS. So I basically carried on with the invitation uh, and attended this concert in School of uh, the Arts. I was very intrigued you know, by the passion and also the kind of self-organizing ability to put together a concert and fairly high quality, I must say. So then I realized that they are Ding Yi. Then I supported them from then on. I think this is a chance for young composers to ask themselves what Chinese music mean to them. How do you interpret contemporary issues with Chinese uh, instruments? It's also a way for us to find out what are the elements that represent us, Singapore. So when you have um, musicians from China, Hong Kong, Taipei, and even further afield, non-Asian participating in composium, thinking about the sounds that Chinese orchestra musical instruments make, and trying to find a way to interpret it. Every generation needs to find its footing in art, including music. And I think Ding Yi will have this role of saying what it means to be playing Singapore contemporary Chinese music. You have good composers that work well with you. Your musicians are also progressing well. We have seen them grown over the years. There's a certain rawness and certain purity. There's certain innocence in the, amongst the musicians. There's also a kind of creativity and abundance of some recklessness and this will be the unique attraction, attractiveness of Ding Yi. Ding Yi, happy 15th anniversary. It has been 15 years. Very meaningful and very rewarding journey. I hope that you have many more good years ahead. <laughs>